What's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at quick little update over here on the oneplus 5 and 5t yes this video also concludes for the 5t the dumpling 2 and this is the oxygen os 5.1.5 now there is nothing special into the change logs at least oneplus said that it's just small little system improvements such as for example if you go to settings about phone there you go security patch august 1 pretty good cause there were some hacks in last month and then again they changed something on lost screen where if you type in the pin code you don't have to enter a tick mark over there like an enter button over here at the bottom it would just automatically do it so yeah that's pretty dumb but still that's have been added well that was pretty quick but there is one more major thing that oneplus didn't include at all Rebel. Yes, Project Rebel has been finally implemented. Now this update is not similar to that I have shown in my beta video like a month ago where it had Project Rebel and completely new UI. Well the wireframe UI is still not over here as you can see the phone looks pretty old as it was launched with Android 8.0. So yeah, nothing new here in terms of UI, I guess for OnePlus 5 and 5T, it would be getting the newer wireframe UI with Android Pie update officially, but we will just wait for that, but Treble. So if you don't already know what Treble is, it's just basically how you boot a Windows on any kind of PC and then again you install drivers. Same Treble ROMs can be booted on any kind of Treble supported phone. Now the Treble means vendor and in vendor you have device drivers. Now you can't actually go and install each and every single driver as on PC you install graphics card, then again sound drivers, again your monitor stuff phone has so many things like 10 different sensors then again display and stuff it can't be done Vendor already has all those drivers you can just directly boot up with those drivers and it just works perfect and that has been finally arrived on our oneplus 5 they gave it on their oneplus 6 but it's an extremely hard way but oh here on the oneplus 5 they have finally gave it i don't know what's wrong with the company but yeah finally it's here and let's just take a look at the installation of it so first of all you have to actually download my infamous adb folder then grab your favorite ROM. Now this ROM must be A only partition. Yes, you don't have to actually download an AB ROM just like OnePlus 6, that's a seamless update phone. Once you download your ROM, keep the ROM inside the ADB folder. Then go to the phone, go to settings, scroll down about phone and tap the build number a few times. Then it will enable developer options. Once you go over here, enable OEM unlocking. That will unlock the bootloader of your phone. Now in this method, we will be wiping your whole phone. So just take a backup, then just power off your phone. Then go to fast board by holding power and volume up, just like that. Then connect your phone to the PC, open CMD, then type in fast board devices. Now if it shows any kind of random number and fast board, that means your device has been successfully connected. Then type in fast boot OEM unlock. This will actually unlock the bootloader of your phone. Then type in fast boot erase user data. This will wipe your whole internal storage. That's kind of necessary in order to remove the weird OnePlus encryption and then wipe your system. So that would be fast boot erase system and then actually flash the system by fast boot flash system and then whatever your ROM IMG. Once that's been flashed, hit start over here by power button and voila, you're successfully booted into your favorite Rebel ROM. So for example, we are using over here .os 2.4, which is kind of extremely feature rich ROM, but that's kind of how you boot your favorite Rebel ROM on your OnePlus 5 and 5T. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on my final update video on OnePlus 5. Devon, what? There is still Android Pie update remaining. Well. It's my final update video on OnePlus 5 because I have actually sold this device. Yes, I know I never sell my phones, but I kind of thought that OnePlus 5 and Galaxy Z were just sitting on my table. Since I bought OnePlus 6, I have not focused on that device at all. And then again, all the videos that I made on OnePlus 5 were never actually gaining views. I don't know why. The time I bought OnePlus 6, I was one of the first people to get it. And still that phone has more attention than this thing being 1.5 years old. So yeah, I just kind of thought to sell this device. I know I love this phone a lot. I traveled like three hours to get it then again, but still it's not worth it. I can sell it and add something like a Poco phone cause I have got like thousands of requests on my Instagram to buy a Poco phone F1, but I'm still waiting on how India receives it, like whether the people love it or not. And then again, I have just sold it to my best friend, which is like a brother to me. So I am going to see this phone every single weekend. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's my wrap on OnePlus 5. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Hopefully on OnePlus 6 videos. Peace.